Oh, back here again talking about Fathom. Okay, so the Fathom pre-sale starts in uh, about 20, well, just under 21 hours. So I thought I'd get this video in first before it happens um, because I believe you need to ask yourself, or oh, that the, the team need to answer two questions um, in my opinion. So uh, I did a video before and I call it my unbiased fathom uh, review. And in the comments, um, Sir, whatever his na name is, Sir J D Finite. Hello again. Basically, we had two points on focus on this project: earning revenue without having to sell utility. Okay, how to fairly reward everyone while limiting risk as much as possible. Uh, we originally considered crypto miners over a year ago. We realized they were not feasible long term. So we switched to use using proof of stake. I will be ut utilizing trading bots as well. In my experience, most DeFi protocols don't focus on revenue until it's too late. We put that focus up front. What we're trying to fix is projects dying because pip pipe goes away and buying stops. What? Okay. So what they're going to do is trading bots and validators. All right. So trading bots and validators to, to generate wealth. Okay. So my question to them was, what's your experience in validators? Um, because they talk about phantom validators and stuff like that. I mean, I did a quick checkup and what they were, what they were saying, saying they're going to use is going to, going to use the money to buy tokens so, for example, they're going to buy like half a million phantom tokens and create a validator. Uh, I think that was the example anyway. They use phantom because that was one of the most expensive validators. But you can use other validators which are which are cheap. Uh, you know, like Sol, for instance, costs one point two Solana per day, which at this uh, today's rates at um, about twenty seven dollars or something like that. So hardly expensive. Um, but my question is, what are their experiences in validators? Because I think they're just going to get a load of money together and potentially not do anything with it. You know, they just take the percentages out. Okay. Because I think they're taking like 25% out that everything gets put in. I'm not entirely sure. Um, regardless, they're definitely taking something out. So that could be a hell of a lot of money that if they take so much out, they don't have to do anything, you know, after that, they, they, they're going to earn the money from just doing that. Um, so my question to them is what are their, what, what is their experience using validators? Because I don't think, um, I've, I've no idea how to be a validator. Um, so what's their experience? I mean, it's a simple, straightforward question. And I've actually asked it in, in several um, comments because this guy has come back to me on several videos and several comments I've done. And he comes back to me quite quickly, but he's not yet to answer the questions that I really want answering, which are what is their, and that's why I'm making this video, what is their experience in their team, the, the three man team, in validators? Uh, how much money, how much profit have they made from validators in the past? And if they haven't done validators before, to me, that just seems I wouldn't invest in this company um, because that's their revenue stream. That's one of their revenue streams. Their second revenue, revenue streams is bots. Okay. So where's the white paper? Okay, so I, I don't know where they mention bots, if anywhere. I'm sure they do. I can't find it. Um, but they do mention, which I've mentioned on my, my other video. Yeah, 75% of all generated buy, sell, and staking taxes used to purchase revenue streams. The primary use of taxes will be uh, validators. Okay. So validate is they're basically buying tokens which could potentially go down and therefore losing money right so surely the best way to make money with validators um 
is to get people to put the money in, the, the tokens in. They get a small percentage and you get the big, well, you get the bigger percentage and then you hand out the smaller percentages to everyone. It's like you can't lose your money, basically, because you use other people's tokens. Um, to me, that would be the way to to make money. And I think that's what people tend to do, don't they? They put They put their tokens in a pool. And then uh, the, the validators then use those tokens that are in that pool to um, do proof of stake, to secure the network, basically, to do the mathematical calculations, et cetera, um, to be the, um, to audit whether, you know, to, to, to be the ledger, um, to, va to validate stuff, okay? They're just doing their job. And then they get a um, payment for doing that, okay? So where is there proof that they can run a validator successfully? That is my question. Very simple. What is your proof? Lay it out. Show us what you've done before. Show us that you can run a validator or validators. It's going to be more than one, obviously. Um, it'll be a lot, some, I should imagine, on different blockchains, I, I should imagine as well, because you obviously want to spread you don't want to just do phantom you want to you want to put it across the whole network and do different ones you want to you want to spread the, the wealth and put it into different uh, blockchains because if one blockchain goes down and you've got all your money in it then you've had it so obviously you want to put your money in different blockchains and the other question was how are you making money on robots now we've had so many bot projects which have failed recently because the fact is there were scams. There were no bot trading going on. So Relay Fund, Stable Fund, uh, Yield Robots, none of these did any trading. Uh, Cat, uh, which is still going on at the moment, that's not doing any trading, by the way. Uh, that's another scam. So loads of these projects, which have jumped on the bandwagon of uh, AI bots and trading bots and all of that, they jumped on the bandwagon and... They, they, they don't actually trade, all right? It's it's complete garbage. So I want to know their experience in trading. How can they make a profit? How can they guarantee a profit um, in, in bot trading or whatever trading they're going to do? So those are my two questions. And they those two questions need answering before... Um, before you sink your money into this, okay? Obfuscate, yeah, that's a word I was looking up um, <laughs> because that's what I think this company do. Obfuscate, obf obf obfuscation, I can't even bloody say it. Um, this is what they do, in my opinion. They, they, they're using these tokens. If you have a look at like their answers, if I can find it, uh, it's not there now. God knows, God knows where that's gone. Um, but that's what I think a lot of Ponzi's do. So I'm not saying this is a scam at the moment, but it's got a lot of signs of it being, in my opinion. Um, if you think about before all the rug pulls, all the rug plays, there were avatars, as night avatars, and they weren't going to show the faces. Now, the other thing, just going back to that, they say them. They call themselves the DeFi Knights. So let's just go down here. Let's just go down here. Ba, 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 keep going. Yeah. So here's it. This is their team. So they mentioned their team. If you click on the link, right, which is this, this site can't be reached. This can't, this site hasn't been able. To, I haven't been able to reach it for hours now. Okay. Let's just refresh. See if it's come up. No. So this site is supposed to have the information about the team. For more information about the Fathom Core team, please visit us online at... So you've got no information about the team. Hmm. Why is that, I wonder? Are they going to rug straight away? <laughs> is that possible? I don't know. Um. So, you know, they say the KYC, but he, I, I don't know. It's a bit... I would not be putting my money in this. I think I think it's very confusing. So I've used the word ob obfuscation, where they're just using all these tokens, using different um, terms like tide and, uh, and waves and 
whirlpool and ripples and ocean. I mean, it's just a load of nonsense. Shilling. Well, that's a bit of a worry. They're using the word shill. <laughs> yeah. Jet stream. Come on, it's all nonsense. All these different taxes. Look at this, all these different taxes. So get them to answer those two questions. What are the skills on robots, uh, bot, bot trading? What are the skills on validation? You need, and you want to see proof. Don't just let them rehash some of the, this is how much you can make. All right. They need to have done this before. They need to have done validation before. Uh, be, they need to have been validators before. And let's see some proof that they made some money. Because if they haven't done it before, why would you trust them with your own money to do it now when they've never done it before? Okay, so let's see the proof. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. Um, so do not, right, do not invest your money in the next 20 hours in this, in this project, right? Until they answer those questions, hold your money back. Don't don't do it. Don't go into the FOMO. Don't do it, guys. Don't waste your money. That is my advice. Okay. <laughs>